We begin with breaking news. The Culinary Union reaches an agreement with Caesars Entertainment, preventing a strike so far. And right now they're still negotiating with downtown and MGM properties. 13 Action News anchor Leslie Marine is live with why a strike is still possible. Beth Dana, well, one agreement down, still a long way to go. Right now, the Culinary Union is still in talks with one of their largest contracts, MGM, which means that until a decision is made, the union says they are still preparing for a strike. Now, these agreements aren't easy to reach. A union re rep told me it took nearly 20 hours of negotiating with Caesars for this new contract deal. This is video from when they made the decision right around 2.45 this morning. The union calling the agreement a historic five-year deal that will impact nearly 12,000 workers at nine strip properties. But there are MGM workers and downtown workers whose contracts expired at midnight and now sit in limbo. But with a strike still possible, that could cost $10 million a day for the largest properties. We're going to call the strike when we uh, say we need to go on a strike. We deserve it, you know, we work so hard. Now, MGM did tell us they are confident that they will reach a deal with the Culinary Union, but right now the Culinary Union says they do not have any meetings set up with MGM. Instead, they are preparing to uh, actually build a strike headquarters right around 10 a.m. But coming up, why workers are threatening this historic strike. I'll tell you about the safety measures they want at work. Reporting live, Leslie Money in 13 Action News.